So today we're back in Beam and G Drive and we're gonna be playing with the planets map once again except for we've got a ton of challenges. I'm gonna be doing random parts. We've also got the biggest versus smallest vehicle and folks, we're gonna send the Blaz into a black hole. So stay tuned until the end and let's do this. All right, folks, we're here with the toy brick car by Agent Y and you know what? We gotta try to jump the earth with this. Uh, I got a lot of really good suggestions last episode we played uh, on this map and a lot of really crazy stuff and oh my goodness! Okay, I should have known that was gonna happen. You know, the earth ramp is not the easiest one because of all the spikes. It's a good chance we're gonna have to take this uh, toy brick car uh, to another one of the ramps. Uh, I wanted to start off with earth here because it's one of my favorite just because of the way it looks. Uh, of course, you got earth gravity on this one. Which, by the way, if you're not familiar with this map, it's made by Spieler. Each ramp you go to has the correct gravity settings according to the planet. Oh my goodness, this thing is not nimble enough to get through the, uh, the spikes here. And, uh, oh, we're gonna gonna crash wait are we gonna near texas hey we're heading towards texas actually i think we might have ended up like in louisiana but you know what it was close enough okay you know what we need to take this to a little bit easier map so let's go to jupiter here uh this is definitely one of my favorite ones too okay we have jupiter gravity enabled oh my goodness it won't even roll forward uh okay we're gonna have to pull it come on don't don't strip off the parts let's go all right here we go oh my oh this is gonna be great so do we think it's gonna actually hold together why does the planet appear to be getting smaller wait what oh my goodness okay we're at almost 300 miles an hour i'm not sure this lego car is meant for this and oh here we go i'll hold it together i just want to make it to the end of the ramp here here we go and <laughs> Dude, it kind of broke apart. Look at the parts flying through space. Oh, it is absolutely glorious. By the way, I need to turn on an app uh, that shows the airspeed. I think as somebody was telling me last time. So even if my tires blow out and the uh, speedometer goes crazy, you can still see it. And, oh, this is going to be satisfying when we hit the... Oh. I think we broke it. Okay, so we have the airspeed app up. I figured we're gonna need it for this. Uh, we're actually using one of the Jado powered cars. Oh my goodness, the speed is gonna be incredible haunts. Try to flatten it out a little bit, there we go. All right, oh, over, oh my goodness, we almost reached 600, wait. So this car absolutely destroys itself. Like it destroys the game uh, when it gets above a certain speed. That is actually kind of incredible. Uh, not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Come on. Okay, let's not hit the Jado till the very end. Uh, this one's super stable, by the way. We're going over 500 miles an hour. All right, let's go. Jado! Oh, <laughs> we hit the ramp at like 650. And oh my goodness. We are uh, officially a rocket. This is the Beam and G space program. Uh, let's see how we're gonna hit the planet here. Come on, I hope it holds together and doesn't pause it again. Come on, let me see the actual collision with the planet. Nope, it does not like this car at all. So stay tuned, folks. We are gonna use the Belaz. I feel like it's gonna actually fit on the ramp. I wasn't sure at first, but you know what? Let's do the CRD, and then I think we're gonna do some random parts on this. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, I'm a little concerned that the tires are gonna explode on this thing. There's a good chance. Okay, there goes the engine, which is fine. Will the tires hold up to 300 plus? Okay, we're at 300. Uh, there's... No, they do not! We're still going, though. Uh, we're at 400 miles an hour. Oh, we're picking up speed. Uh, we are now... Come on, we're gonna leave it 500 miles an hour. <laughs> Dude, the, the monster truck shredded itself before it even got down. Um, well, that's the thing. So, are we gonna actually be able to see the collision with the planet on this one? Uh, I feel like we've already broken something. There's stuff go- Oh, there it was. What the heck? It exploded. That was very, very weird. Okay, we're gonna do some random parts. Okay, so I think the challenge is gonna definitely be here on the earth ramp because it's the only one that has the spikes like this. So I must make it down, and if I make it down, I get to pick whatever vehicle I want, uh, which I've got a couple in mind. I even have, like, a jelly car. I'm kind of curious as to how it's gonna react with some of the gravity settings uh, for the planets. So what we're gonna do- uh, let me myself a random vehicle so all right we got the etk let's go ahead and scramble it not a bad vehicle uh i know a lot of people wanted to see this i was like i don't think i'm gonna do a full random parts episode because there's just a lot of like unique vehicles i want to try and also this is the slowest thing ever what happened all right well it doesn't matter we've got gravity on our side here uh we just need something that's gonna maneuver through the spikes i think i took the okay that was not impressive at all oh ouch actually let's do random vehicle again uh, okay, the bull eyed scramble. Let's take a different path. I've oh my goodness. Oh, it has no fuel in it. Oh, such a shame. It looked actually fast. What the? What is happening here? It 
does not run. Nice. All right, scramble till it runs. Uh, nope. Wow, the bolide's really broken. Oh, here we go. Why does it look like it's ready to explode? It's so slow. Am I just rolling or is this actually... I think it is dry. Hold on, listen to it. Oh, it sounds terrible. Well, this is only going to take about five minutes to get to the actual edge of the ramp. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys there. Five minutes later. Folks, we finally made it to the edge of the ramp. Watch us get obliterated on the first spike. That would be actually hilarious. All right, so let's take the right lane here. I feel like maybe... I I can get down a little better. What is wrong with the engine? Why does it sound like this? It sounds faster than it actually is. Oh my goodness. This thing does not turn very well. There is something weird with the tires. It like over corrects itself. Like it, oh my goodness. Oh, this is terrible. What is wrong with, uh, no, no. I waited all that time just to hit a spike. This is why I chose not to do a full episode of Random Parts. I like to enjoy my recordings. Okay, I just want to make it down once. All right, the Shintilla. You can't tell me I'm not going to get something decent at least. Okay, I got something that doesn't run. Nice. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, at least this one's got a motor in it. Um, it's the diesel. It's really strange, but, you know, it's fine. I got a police livery too. I like that. All right, here we go. Okay. Just be careful. I've made it through this before with a normal vehicle. Oh, this is looking pretty toasty here on a little to the left, a little to the right. Oh my good. No, we were so close. Dude, this was the one too. This was the chosen one. You were the chosen one. Okay, random vehicle. What are we going to get? All right, we got the Grand Marshal. Not a bad vehicle. Um, A little heavy. Uh, Okay. I mean, this... This is working. It's like a demo derby uh, K9. Actually, it's not a K9. Uh, it's a uh, police unit with a uh, NOS bottle in the back. Uh, no trunk because we're saving on weight. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is good. Uh, the handling feels pretty responsive. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. We're looking like it. We got it. We got it. Yes! We have finally made it. It took the weird demo derby police car. Uh, also, we are going to land up uh, towards Canada. And, oh, yes. So, I get to do this with a vehicle of my choosing now. Okay, so we need a planet that it's really going to be pretty extreme on. Um, let's see, Mars. I want one of the ramps that's got the bumps. <laughs> We're going to Uranus, which I know you guys had a field day with that one last episode. Uh, so let's go down to this. I like the ramp on this one. The ramp to Uranus is great. So I kind of want to take this unicorn down it real quick. I'm going to use the hill climb version because it's got the big splitter and wing. I feel like this thing's going to get really good speed. Uh, I am a little concerned with the bumps on the ramp, uh, so we'll have to see if it can handle it. Uh, also, the gravity, it is pressing down on this thing. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, it felt like, you know, I don't think it was pressing down. I think this is definitely making the car lighter. Oh, this was a mistake. Yeah, this didn't work at all, did it? Uh, we're gonna fly off into Uranus? No, actually, I think we're gonna miss Uranus. Uh, we're going down below Uranus. Okay, I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Maybe I should use something heavy. You know what? I was saying I was gonna take it out at the end, but I feel like we're gonna use it on multiple ramps. The Blaz is heavy. Uh, so let's use the insane. I don't want the what how because I don't trust whatever that is. Uh, let's go ahead and go with this. Will it fit? Oh my goodness, it fits on the ramp. Oh, it's as if it was made for it. Hold on, let it go down. Uh-oh, okay, still pretty light. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I can't send a Belaz into Uranus. Uh, that did not work. I think the ramp pulled it apart. You know, this thing actually would fit on any ramp. They're all the same width, I think. It's just the whole fact that the gravity setting lifted that one. Hold on, we're going to crash into this. We are going over 400 miles an hour. By the way, when we're in the air, uh, pay attention to the left side with the airspeed. That's the actual uh, speed we're going to crash into Uranus in. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're going to hit 600. Yes, we have 600 miles an hour. And let's go... Oh, that was perfect. That was lovely. Let's pick another ramp for this one. Okay, I'm down with taking this to Mars real quick. Okay, the ramp's a little smaller on this one. At least I feel like it is. All right, this one's kind of bumpy. Uh, let's see if we can handle it. I want to crash this in off the act. Oh, my goodness. You know what I thought was going to be a really good vehicle for this is actually proving not to be. I think we need a perfectly, like, stable ramp. I don't think the Belaz likes the jumps. You know, now that I think about it, somebody's going to complain that I didn't use the what now, or the what how, I should say. What does the what how do? Is it just faster? Oh my goodness, the engine. Uh, I just need it to stay stable. Wait, why is this working? This one, it feels sturdier. I think we're actually going to do it here. Dude. Oh my goodness, and the blast actually worked. Okay, 
I don't know why it's called the what now. I should probably read the description on it. It's definitely sturdier. The wheels love to fall off on this thing, and that was perfect. No issues whatsoever. Oh, you know what? I think it's indestructible. Like, we just bounced right off the planet and nothing happened. Okay. So I really want to save the blast for the black hole. If you guys watched the last episode, you know the black hole is absolutely insane. So let's switch vehicles here. Hmm. You know what? I know of a certain jelly vehicle that I would like to use. So the H series here, this is part of one of the Agent Y packs. Uh, so you have the jelly van or the inflated mat van. Let's do the jelly van real quick. What happens with... Oh my goodness. That is mes... Oh. That's mesmerizing. So the jelly van's always really neat to look at in the first place, but with the different gravity settings in the planet here, oh, let's just drop it. What does it do? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, the camera doesn't like it. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh, and we're picking up speed. We're going over the speed bumps in Saturn here. Uh, oh, it's getting worse. What is, okay, what is even happening? By the way, these presets are in the Agent Y pack. They have a really, really cool like tuning menu and there's some presets to show what's happening. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, it is, okay, it's freaking out. Let's go, uh, let's go free cam real quick. Oh my goodness, it's, <gasps> wait, it's stretched all the way down the, oh wow. Yeah, it's stretched down the ramp. Okay, so jelly cars, definitely a mistake. How about we do the inflatable mat car? Cause this one expands. Oh my goodness. What the heck is this? Oh. So when this car gets spawned in on normal gravity, it kind of deflates a little bit and you can bounce other cars off it. It actually blew up in this gravity setting. That's cool looking. Not gonna lie, I feel like I need to run a car into this. Let's do that. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the speed bumps. Um, the T-Series does not like these. Where's the van at? I'm looking for the inflatable mat. It might not have appeared. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, we're gonna hit it at like over 200 miles an hour. Oh! Dude, it, I mean, it did its job. It acted like a big, like, cushion. I mean, too bad I still died. Wow, it literally clogged up the, uh, the ramp here. You can't get by it anymore. Yep, that was a mistake. So we have a Moonhawk. There's two really cool ones. I like the Agent Y Custom because it's a little bit, and when I say normal, it's still 2,000 uh, plus supercharged engine. And then we have the one that's got the ridiculous number down here, and yes, that is really the horsepower number. We should probably do that one first because it's not gonna work at all. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at our airspeed. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's what happens with the sun. Sun's not a good idea. Let's go to something else. Uh, something a little bit more normal, I would say. Uh, let's go to Mercury. We haven't visited that planet yet. Uh, we're ready to go here. Oh my goodness. So folks, I promise you that is not the gravity setting doing that. That is just uh, simply because this vehicle is insane. Let's try the Agent Y custom one. How about that? Okay, come on, stay playing it. Oh, yes. 2,000 plus horsepower of unnecessary awesomeness. Or should I say necessary awesomeness? With the gravity setting, this thing doesn't actually feel ridiculous. Like, I think the horsepower, of course, is helping it a lot. But this isn't bad. Oh my goodness, we might be able to jump the moon, ET style. Oh, I think we're gonna land on the top of it here. Uh, it's gonna be a nice landing, cause it's, I mean, the gravity's obviously, yeah, we would totally would've survived that. That wasn't bad at all. Oh, we're gonna drive actually off the other side of the moon right now. Okay, this is things that I didn't think I was gonna see in Beam and G. Um, nope, yep, we're just skidding off the other side, like nothing happened, it is fine. Wait, is the gravity gonna actually keep us kind of like, attached to this or are we gonna actually float off oh we are on the dark side of the moon right now yeah we're nope never mind we're done <laughs> all right i got some really fun vehicles here by the way i might have called the last planet the moon it, it's not the moon it looks like the moon in my head i was going oh this is the moon but that was actually mercury but speaking of the moon i mean we can go to the moon so let's go ahead and quick travel over there so i've got the donk i don't know if this is gonna work is it gonna even roll Oh, it does roll. Wait, what the heck? That's actually kind of pleasant. Do we think the wheels are going to hold up long enough for us to get off the ramp? Also, there's like speed bumps. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's wanting to pull to the right for some reason. Dude, this is actually quite nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. Here we go. And now we're going to clear the moon. Bye. Yeah, I was thinking about it earlier. I was like talking about E.T. clearing the moon. Uh, this is what you would do clearing the moon, not Mercury. I know there's already a bunch of people probably screaming in my comment section right now at me. Look at this. This is working good. Uh, we're going to land on the moon. Here we go. Oh, 
You know, I was hoping the uh, the big tires would cushion it just a little bit more. Uh, that was a pretty satisfying landing anyways. Okay, so I got a challenge. We're going to do the smallest car versus the biggest car. So this ETK 800, uh, it's actually, a, I think, an outdated mod because there is some issues with it. But I think we could still use this. So we have the very, very big car. And then we have the very small car. Uh, so which one do you think is actually going to make it down faster? Um, you know, it's actually a good question. Uh, let's go with the very small to start with. Can I... Okay, it does accelerate. Obviously, the bigger car is going to have uh, more weight behind it, but we are dealing with moon gravity here. So, I would say somewhat weightless here. Come on. Okay, go this way. All right, gas it. This is not working at all. Oh, we're picking up some speed here. I would say do this with the... Uh, actually, you know what? I think I might be able to take the spikes off the Earth one. I kind of actually want to test this in more of a normal gravity setting. Yeah, because this isn't going to work. Because as soon as I hit one of these bumps, I'm pretty sure this thing's going airborne. Now, the big vehicle. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, the big vehicle. I don't think it would have an issue with this one. But I think I actually want to try this with the Earth gravity. And whoever wins, will send it into the sun at, like, infinite gravity all right let's go over to the earth real quick i feel like this vehicle is actually gonna get down there pretty quick so this is the smallest vehicle oh my goodness it is skidding okay here we go oh it is so sideways right now all right where are we gonna end up on the uh, globe here uh we're gonna travel i think we're going up to canada again unless we uh nosedive oh no never mind we're uh we're gonna end up in the u.s here and oh that actually worked better than i thought it would let's try the biggest vehicle oh my goodness this is gonna be great all right we're definitely gonna have to send the biggest vehicle into the sun because it's gonna be funny uh oh oh a little harder to control the input's a little delayed uh we might actually in oh yep we're definitely going to canada on this one on it not unless it nose dives into the lakes oh geez and all right it made it further yeah i really look forward to putting this one into the sun i hope it fits on the ramp does it fit if it fits oh my goodness <laughs> No! Okay, you know what? If I can get the wheels above, I feel like the wheels will touch the top of the ramp. All right, we're on the ramp now. Oh, come on. I just want to sit. You know what? We're just going to drop it in the sun. It still should catch the gravity. Uh, okay, there it goes. Look at the speed. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to explode the game. I feel like it's a little more aggressive when you're on the ramp. It's almost as if it's floating. There's a chance we might have broken some. Oh, it's picking up speed now. Oh, it is rapidly accelerating. We'll do it from this camera. That way it doesn't flash you guys too hard here. Oh, we are approaching. This is bright. I mean, it is the sun, but you know. Do you guys think we're going to actually have the collision or is the game going to pause itself and reset the car? I think it's going to pause itself, but I could be wrong about this. Uh, my goodness. You can tell it's we're definitely getting closer to it. Uh, it doesn't seem as aggressive as if you're on the ramp. Like, you definitely go faster. Oh, we are picking up speed. Oh, this is going to be bad. And, oh, we actually got the collision. How? That is a first. Every vehicle I've sent into the sun. Oh, can't stare at that anymore. Yeah, every vehicle I've sent into the sun has not been able to do that. Oh, my goodness. This might be the greatest thing I've ever seen. I can write these down. Oh, on, stay attached to the... Oh, and we're done. Oh, whoa, we're picking up speed. Yeah, I might need to get Spieler to add a little bigger ramp to this one. Uh, I would like to send this off properly into the sun. We are picking up speed. Oh, that is hard to look at. We are picking up really, really good speed right now. Uh, yep, this is going to be fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we hit it, and instability let's try to get to the black hole here will the blast fit on it oh no let's see if we can make it into the black hole we're we gonna get sucked in uh yes oh we're getting pulled towards it oh it's beautiful wait for it there we go we've crossed through the black hole with the blast it has spit us out actually it didn't blow up that's a first last time we did this which by the way if you haven't seen the episode go check it out oh it just crushed itself um yeah we immediately exploded but this time we actually made it through it i don't know what's happening uh, i feel like we should probably wrap this up but if you guys have any more suggestions for this map comment down below we'll see you guys next time